A good content dashboard is going to help you be able to easily organize, visualize, and analyze your content. Otherwise, it's your content creation process is just going to be a mess. Hi, my name is Adamu Shoyo and I teach content creators and online business owners how to create content that easily attracts, nurtures, and converts their audience into paying customers. This is my first episode in this series, Power Your Marketing Using Notion. In this series, we're gonna be talking about how I use Notion and how you can use Notion in order to power all of your goals as it relates to your content marketing. If you're unfamiliar with Notion, Notion is an all-in-one productivity tool. It really allows you to keep track of your to-do list, manage your projects, keep track of notes, documents, even things that are even less like serious or businessy, such as like if you wanna keep track of your favorite show that you're watching and the contestants that are being eliminated or if you want to keep track of the music that you're listening to or the books that you're reading, there's really no limit to what you can do in Notion, which is why I love it so much because it's the only app that you can really tailor it to what it is that you specifically need in order to run your business. In addition to you know, creating content consistently, you need to have a content management system. A content management system is the underlying process that you have in order to take your content ideas from ideation to actually being published and also allows you to kind of keep track of how your content is performing and how people are engaging with your content over time. A good content management system should allow you to support any of the creation or organizing of your content files. It should be able to help you manage the projects and the process involving getting that content being done. It should help you with organization and it should also help you be able to analyze and keep track of their KPIs over time. Now, before I get into my Notion workspace, I wanna ask you all, what tools are you currently using in order to manage your own content right now? Let me know in the comments below. Now I'm gonna take you through my content marketing dashboard. Well, the first thing that I have are my goals that I wanna have as it relates to my content. And each of these goals is filled with different milestones that I want to hit as I'm tracking towards that. The next thing I have is my marketing calendars and my marketing channels. Here you can see my social media calendar, which is Instagram and Twitter, and eventually TikTok. And then I also have a blog, email, and YouTube calendar as well. And then you can also see that I have the different active channels that I'm working in. So we can see like my YouTube channel and how I have like the different posts and you know how I'm tracking towards my goals as well as KPIs. And the same is in each of these different channels as well. Let me know if you want to see what each of the different hubs look like. Uh, I would be happy to create another video for it. And then as you continue to scroll, you'll see my ideas and projects. So this is like if I have a general content idea that um, is tying to like an overall theme or something like that, then that's usually where I will um, put it in there. But I, even if I don't know exactly like what platform or how it's gonna shape up, for example, I had my welcome back to socials when I took a break. And when I opened it, you can see that I had like the objective and then I outlined what needed to be done. And then I created different projects that would allow me to execute on that idea. And then I also have a projects Board. So these are all of my projects that are related to content marketing. I treat each content piece as its own individual project. So you'll see projects that are relating to other content pieces. And so you can see this one here where I have of like recording my this YouTube video and I have my tasks that I'm working on as well. And then I also have, you know, some different resources and tools that learnings that I pick up that I want to try to implement later. So I have like my brand guide has like my topography and my brand colors. And then uh, this is a YouTube SEO training that I watched and I took some notes on it. And so yeah, I have everything as it relates to working with my content. And this just helps me stay really organized and visualized what I think is upcoming or some of the ideas that I have. I hope me showing my content dashboard was helpful 
If you would like to kickstart your own Notion organization, click the link in the description box to get your own Instagram planning template. Thanks so much for watching this video. Be sure to click this video right here if you want to watch some more. I'll talk to you later. Bye!